In this short demo, you will learn how to configure SD-WAN profiles. In this demo, we have two ISP links configured, and you can see the gateways here. On the SD-WAN profile tab, we will add a new profile, give it a name, and select our two gateways. In the SLA section, you can let Sophos Firewall choose the link with the best quality based on latency, jitter, or packet loss, or you can configure a custom SLA using a mix of the three criteria. We will stick with the best quality based on latency. In the Health Check section, you can define the probe targets and customize the number and frequency of checks. We will use the defaults. When you save the profile, by default it will take a minute to gather data from probes of the links before you can view the statistics. How long this takes will depend on the health check settings you have configured. You can now see which link is active. We will create a simple SD-WAN policy route. You can select the traffic using any of the normal criteria, such as by application. For this example, we will just add a destination IP address. Instead of selecting the gateways, we can select our SD-WAN profile. I will enable packet capture so we can see which gateway is being used by the SD-WAN profile. Let's do a ping. If we refresh the packet capture, we can see that port G is being used. This is ISP1. We can add latency and jitter to the ISP1 route. If we look at the statistics now, we can see that ISP1 has more latency. And now it has failed over to using ISP2. If we do another ping and refresh the packet capture again, we can see that the traffic is now going through port H, which is ISP2. We can also view charts for the latency, jitter, and packet loss for our connections. In the log viewer, the SD-WAN module shows changes to the routing based on the profile.